My name is Yves Magiela. I'm a video editor, filmmaker, and graphic designer. Filming, editing is my passion. Um, let me introduce you to some of my works. Check this out. My name is Nicholas and I am grateful. Uh, I am part of Victory Outreach Ministries. Hi, my name is David Elwin. I am the Associate Pastor of Victory Outreach uh, Ministries in London. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Chris. I'm currently uh, in the Victory Outreach uh, Men's Recovery Home. Hello, my name is Celine and I'm just representing Victory Outreach just to say what the kind of things that God's done in my life and what he's doing in my life and where he's taking me from. You, my name is Jacqueline Clark and I'm a member of Victory Outreach Church and in the London branch in particular. Hello, my name's Daryl. I am 28 years old. Um, Hello, my name's Joel. Um, I'm here on behalf of Victory Outreach Ministry. I'm um, just from here to tell you about my life and, and what I've been through as growing up as a, a young guy in the East End of London. We do want to know and we do want to help and that's why we're here, you know, in, in the world to help those people, those type of people that are down and out, unloved, dirty, unkempt, smelling, you know, and nobody wants to know them. Society doesn't want to know them. No, they're rejects. Nobody wants them to know them, not even their family. But you know, Jesus wants to know them and he's using victory outreach to get to know them, to show them that somebody does love them and that there is hope and that their life is valuable. My life hasn't always been that great. Uh, I have a story that, that um, many people might be familiar with. It's a story that is not as good as it is today. But my life used to be um, messed up. I'm an ex-drug addict, ex-convict, ex-alcoholic. Um, I used to be caught up in a life of drugs and crime. Uh, I used to do whatever it took in order to feed a habit that I had. And it started when I was about 12 years old. I started drinking alcohol. My father was an abusive alcoholic. Uh, I came to a broken family. And he said, let's ring the recovery home. They rang the women's recovery home in Manchester. Um, I got on the train. I took my last hit on the train. And they said to me that there, it was a, a Christian, Victory Outreach Christian recovery home that I could, they would help me get my children back. I didn't know anything about God, but something inside me was pulling me there. I went to the home. They taught me how to pray for my children said to me, Celine, if you trust in God, you're going to get your children back. And I thought, how are they going to change the hand of the social services? They've took my kids, they're gone. I started to pray for my children. I started to read the word of God, the Bible. And I read one scripture and it was in Jeremiah 31, 16. And it said that, do not weep anymore for your children will come back to you from the distant land of the enemy. There is hope for your future, says the Lord. Your children will come home again. And I kept praying that and I kept praying it and I kept praying it not even understanding what, what, what faith was, not understanding who Jesus was. Then about five weeks later, they prayed for me and I had such an overwhelming sense of God's love that that's the first time I ever felt loved. Oh, this one. Nadia Sporay à Londres, tout 
Zali awalelo pona kusura masolo ebele Oyo zali kutala mboka Lelo tozali nakati na platona biso Na bishop Christopher Ye azali oyo Tozali kusala tujur emisyon oyo Ensemble Tozali kukomonte sur le développement di Congo Tozali kukomonte sur la nation congolaise Yango lelo toye na temi moko Très interesant Tolo biete de kwa e koman se konstitui une nation. Awa, tant tous allez kolobe la nation, tous allez koumana nan nou mboka na biso ya Kongo. Bonjour, Moussaï Nanzambe, Bishop Christopher. Bonjour, Reverend Diawa. Comment vous allez? Nous nous portons très bien, le Seigneur est de notre. Pour moi, les gars, tous allez nese kou mingi, pour nous koyamba ou l'issou sou na plateau Oyo, te bete mikolo e le kaki, ozala ki na biso, et tu avais dit des choses qui nous avaient épaté, Le lot de l'ingé sous souhaité de continuer de coba quatre quatre une émission à bisou pour la coloba thème y a le lot n'est rien à l'oubli et pas y va de bon abisou et des alliés de quoi et comment se constituer une nation ya mon azana mituna et belé ya koutouna yo aux alliés moko et aux alliés koutanga bakla se milaï et aux alliés na connaissance moko mon aîné pour la coloba la bisou ma cambo yo et alliés nation Yango mutuna ngal bose zala ki ete Nasyon ezali nene Bon Dabor je me présente Bishop Christopher Nenge Otikoloba Nazali président fondateur Ya Power Kingdom International Oyo ezali ministère Moko international Ayan pour objet d'encadrer Les serviteurs de Dieu Les jeunes serviteurs et stimuler l'esprit à réflexion parmi les dirigeants et les nations, partant des serviteurs de Dieu jusqu'au ministre, jusqu'au chef numéro un de la République, les responsables des foyers, à papa, à maman, à maman, à maman, à à en position d'autorité, à en position de leadership. The World News Network presents. Africa today. Africa today. Africa today. Africa today. Africa today. Africa today. Brought to you by BA Best African International TV Magazine. Hello, I'm Joanna Foya. Welcome to Best African International TV Program. We have here a special guest, Mr. Eric Weber who is the editor of the Best African Magazine. Hello, Mr. Eric. Hello, Joanna. I had the privilege to take part yesterday on the launching mm -hmm. of the magazine, Best African Magazine. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I was so impressed Thank about you. the old package you are offering. Thank you. That's why I said to myself, I have to invite you. I need to know more about it. Thank you. So tell me, what is the meaning of Best Africa? magazine and why you choose the crow as a logo? Okay, Joanna, as you know, uh, Best Africa magazine is a whole concept. It's not just a name. Mm. Uh, to me, Africa, it's a brand and it needs to be portrayed in the positive in order to attract investors, in order to have a positive view of what Africa can do and what Africa can offer. However, as you know, uh, you know, strange on this reality, in this logic. If you look at the international media, the only aspects they present about Africa is the negative. They talk about war, they talk mm. about rapes, they talk about disease. But no way you will see in Africa, Africa, any programs going on on TV or news talking about the positive aspects of our continent. When you see a news, in the TV, it's got to be war, it's got to be looting, it's got to be disease. There's so many aspects, positive aspects, and so many things happening in Africa, let alone Congo, mm. let alone the Ivory Coast and all these places. Construction has been done, but people don't seem to know about it simply because no one is there to stand up and raise his voice to speak about Africa. Il faut que la parole arrive à te convaincre pour te faire comprendre qu'il y a des choses que tu crois faussement alors qu'elles ne sont pas vraies. 